Yep. See, if I touch it, see? Oh, yeah, yep, yeah. See, you see the yeah. flap pulling coming out? Yeah, I do. So we're here at Perry's place and he's going to show us his system of growing things. He does the size of the leaves next Yeah, yeah there, there's a cabbage, there's a cauliflower here, look. Cauliflower growing in there already. Oh, look at that. Welcome to Sunflower Hill. I'm Tina and I'm a single mum homesteading in Southern Australia here in Victoria. Today, we're not looking at my homestead, we're looking at somebody else's setup, which is why I'm in the car heading out. We're gonna go see Perry's garden. And the reason for that is that Perry does things quite differently to me. Um, he's in a, a fantastic group I'm on on Facebook. Um, all, lot, all of whom do things just that little bit differently. And I think it's really great to learn from each other and pick up tips and hints, and, or even just to you know confirm that what we're doing is the right thing for us. So Perry uses a um, completely different system of gardening to me because he's in a different situation. He's older and he's in a um, suburban area. So he uses a system of, of wicking cubes to grow his veggies in. There's various advantages to that for him. So we're gonna go and have a look at those now. Let's go. So we're here at Perry's place and he's going to show us his system of growing things. He does things very differently to me so it's quite interesting and exciting to see something new um, and get some other ideas about how you might grow food in an effective, efficient sort of way. Um, Perry uses biofilter food cubes and we're going to learn about those as we go. He's kindly opening them all up for us and you can see that it's an extremely um, productive system. So in a minute, he's going to tell us all about how it works and his journey in um, veggie gardening. Perry also has an extremely nicely set up greenhouse and some, some technological stuff that um, helps him grow food. So we're going to have a look at all of that too. You see, I use every space that's available. You can see I, I plant snow peas along the fence line behind the food cubes. Yep, yep. And I just plant snow peas uh, yep. and let it grow there. That looks fantastic. Yes. So you're using all the space Yes. Yes. Yep. Last year, before this, uh, I planted tomatoes along there. And, and, yep. and it's, a, it's a good comparison between growing tomatoes right out in the open yep. and in the food cubes as well. Yeah, so which was better? Oh, the food cubes are better. I okay. mean, like the trouble food cubes is that they, they uh, I mean, like last year was a funny season because yeah. of the uh, humidity. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I had trouble with uh, powdery mildew, okay. both inside and outside. I mean, one way, it doesn't matter where you're growing yeah. it, you, you got powdery mildew. But, yeah. but uh, uh, the food cubes are definitely better because the food cubes are such that you, with the wicking system, mm -hmm. the roots never dry. Okay. That's one of the people don't realize that um, uh, tomatoes doesn't like their root system to dry. Once it dries, it affects the fruit. Yeah. And with the, the advantages with food cubes is that roots never dry. If, yeah. you, if you fill the tank, which each tank has, each food cube has 110 liters of water. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the roots never dry. Yeah, yeah. So they, they, they don't, the, the growth doesn't hinder at all. It continuously grow. Yeah, okay. I've got one on the other side of the house. Uh, uh, the, the tomato is 2.5 meter tall. Now? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, could you show us the food cubes and how they work? Yeah, yeah. Please? Here it is. If you come here, the, down here is comprises of two food cubes. Then they join, join together by a, 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 a rubber hose. Yep. And on each end of the food cubes, there's this um, valve mm -hmm. that controls the water level. Yep. So if you don't want... Uh, too much water, you can just lower it, mm -hmm. and you can see the water coming out. Oh yeah. So, so if you leave it here, right. that's the water level. Yep. So the water is about 25 mil above the soil. Okay. 
Okay. So um, soil can wick, wick from there. Mm -hmm. Plus there are sixteen, there are sixteen wicks that drops into the water tank. Okay. And and so it it it, it sucks the water up by capillary reaction. Mm -hmm. And the other advantage is that when the water level drops to about here. You, you got an air pocket. See that there, there are air holes here where you fill the water. So you open this to put to put your water to fill the tank. Mm -hmm. okay. And there's a, a, a air pocket here. So when you fill the water, as the water rises, the air it aerates the roots yep. underneath. Yep. So that's another advantage that um, people don't realize. It, this design is brilliant. Yep. It's designed by two people in in Melbourne, yep. and they they use. Um, uh, uh, food grade um, recycled plastics okay. uh, from from confectionery places, you know, and 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 it's so brilliant. They're they're mm -hmm. strong, yeah. and um, and and it's very efficient. Okay. And as as I've said to you many a time, I I only started growing vegetables mm. about three years ago, mm. yeah. and everyone said I grow good vegetables. I don't do much. I just plant and it grows. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. I don't have to do much. Uh, you don't get a lot of weeds. Mm. Um, and you see, look, look at, look at them. Look, look how healthy are these? It, it, they're thriving. Yeah, Just from uh, Paris, that's my hand. They're enormous. Yeah, they're, they're enormous. Yeah. And this is um, a green stem bok choy. Yep. And that's um, miniature or small um, dwarf variety of um, uh, white stem bok choy. Okay. Beautiful. They're thriving. And 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 here's another green stem bok choy. Yep. So how long have these all been in? I all? just planted this yesterday <laughs> okay. because I've, I've finished harvesting the crop here. Yep. That's Skyland and that's that's maybe a month and a half old. Okay. And there's another Asian green. It's huge. Look at look yeah, at how it's, big it's it's enormous. Huge. enormous. It's hard to see yeah. on the camera, but yeah. it's really big. Yes, it is really big. And they're, they're just about ready to harvest. I mean, they're ready to eat. They're more than ready to eat. Yeah. And um, they're beautiful. And the stems are crunchy. And, and that's a real delicacy, Kailan. Yeah. You don't get much of this in, in the nurseries. Yep. Uh, I've, I've bought them before in nurseries, but they, they don't seem to sell a lot of it. But okay. it's, it's really nice. It's, it's, it's the best Asian green of all the Asian greens that okay. I, I know. Uh, apart from apart from womba, womba Chinese cabbage is another beautiful vegetable. Yes. So yes. I'll show you. So uh, did you grow that from seed? Did you buy I, seeds? Yes, I grew them from seeds yeah. because you can't buy them here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah yes. Yeah. So so these are this these are the biofilter uh, food food Oops. food cube net, netting system yep. where you got to zip to to to. It's it's much easier to 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 handle your your food cube because yeah. you just zip and pull it out. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so I I tried the system here. And that, that's the foot cube covering. Okay. It looks beautiful. I, I put it here because it sort of it, it looks neater and tidier. It looks great, and yeah. I really like this little oh. detail here. That's super cute. Did you put those on, or did they? Yes. No, 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 no. I'm, my friend who who has got a three D printer, he printed for me. Oh. So <laughs> anyway, nice he gave it to me as a gift. So. Oh. Uh, yeah, that, this looks really well made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so as I say, explained to you that they, they are joined at the bottom. Yeah. Technically, if you got you, if you have a flat piece of land, yep. you can join a hundred of them together. Oh, okay. And 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 so you only need to fill the water from one spot. One tank. Yeah. And some yeah. people actually use the downwater pipe and connect into it. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Thing. So right. it's water. It's so water, water straight. Rain yeah, water yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. And and they also uh, biofilter our food cubes have a, a, a auto watering system too that you can buy. You you put a tap there and, and the moment the level drops to a certain level, it, it'll refill it automatically. Wow. So, and 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 even with this system, yeah. You, I mean, I, I I hardly feel them in 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 this time of the year. Yeah. I mean, maybe once every two weeks. Wow. In summer, you you. If, depending on the type of plants you grow, uh, you might uh, fill it every five days, yeah. and otherwise, you know, you can get as, as you know get away with five to ten days, yeah. and you can go away for a holiday. You don't have to get your next door neighbor or your family yeah. to come and water it, and and, yeah, and they won't do a, as good a job as this system. Yeah, because, because it's yeah, even and, and and they're not doing it for themselves; they're doing it for you. So yeah. therefore, they do it with a bit of reluctance. <laughs> yeah, <that's right>. exactly. <laughs> but anyway, so there there you go, and Fantastic. and. This is also another experiment. I use an arch to uh, to grow honey nut pumpkin. They're yeah. the miniature variety. I love, I've, I've, I love arches to get things off the ground. So yes. that's obviously been pretty, yeah. pretty successful. Yes. 
So these are what, honey nuts? Honey nuts. So I think they're ready to harvest, I think. Yeah, they look ready. Yeah, yeah. I just did a video yesterday on harvesting pumpkins. Yes. <laughs> it's the time of year. <laughs> I think it's ready to harvest. I mean, I'm, yes. because the garden club is coming, I just thought to show them. Oh, yeah. How, I want to do, show them before I... Yeah. And then I'll put some, uh, I think I might put some more snow peas on it. Yeah. yeah you know, like yeah, this yeah. is the time of the year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Get as many in as you can, I reckon. So, the, wow, the, the, amazing. This, this, this was planted on um, March the 14th, I think. Okay. Yeah. Um, these are planted from seeds. Uh, those are from seedlings. Uh, th that's sugar snap. Oh, yep, down the back. And here. and these are carrots. Yep. And th the tricky part of this is, I mean, uh, I've I've been told and I've learned that you don't fertilize carrots, uh, you know, so you just don't do it. So yep. it was very tricky planting snow peas and yeah, which uh, have different needs. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So I had to carefully water the middle part with a watering can so that to give it a feed. But anyway. Yep. yep. Um, uh, uh, time will tell how will, how how they will go go. Yeah. So they're, they're, these are two different varieties that I of bought carrots. from Active Vista. Yep. Um, and and so uh, and and this part here, which which is the first time I'm doing it, mm -hmm. I'm uh, it's purple carrots. So oh. I've never done it before. I'll be so, interested yeah, in those. Yeah. I don't think I've grown them. I'm yes. Going look look at this snow piece. Look look at how well they're flowering. Oh yeah, look at that. And it's quite early. It's what are we in May? Early May, so that's pretty amazing. And and if you look at it, I'm trying you see how I made the net so that I can unclip the top? Yep. So that there's an opening for 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 at the same time this this will protect from insects or yeah. whatever. Yeah. So this is mainly insect exclusion netting. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um actually I I I think it's cabbage moth, you know, but, but I think yeah. cabbage moth doesn't need uh, snow peas. But anyway, <laughs> whatever it is, I just like the protection and, yeah. and I want to see, because this is, I did this to plant tomatoes, so ah, to grow yeah. up the arch. So I thought yeah. I'll cut the nets in such a way, I worked out a way that I can do it so that, yeah. it, you know, I can open the arch with, yeah. with, with those uh, cloth yeah. cloth clips or whatever yeah. and uh, and oh, see I how, see yeah, yeah, they, this, yeah, this sort of clips I use, you yeah. know. Oh, very handy. And they're stainless steel, so hopefully they don't rust. Yeah, so are they closed stainless steel? Yeah, 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 yes, from, yeah. from Coles, a supermarket. Oh, yeah, yep. Uh, and, and hopefully, if, if you can go back, come back here, you can yep. see see the arch mm -hmm. from a distance. You might, yep. you can see how how beautiful it would be. Oh, absolutely, yeah, <laughs> that you can see the whole design. Yes, so so you can, oh. you, you I, I would love the snow piece to grow up. Over you know? the arch, yes. yeah. And, oh, and, nice. And, yeah, and if you, uh, and then we might skip to this. And, and I'm in in a, in a, uh, a mood for having arches. This is another arch that oh, I've tried to do. Great. <laughs> See? Arches. See how how I've I've done with this arch. Yep. And I try to work yep. out how I can protect my strawberries. Yeah. While my sweet peas. See, yeah. I I I broke my my my. Uh, uh, because my wife loves sweet peas. She keeps saying to me, can you plant some sweet peas? Yeah. But I said, it's not a vegetable. I can't eat sweet peas. <laughs> um, so, but anyway, I thought to myself, I'll do it for her. Yeah. And so I, I, I'm growing sweet peas there. But yeah. so you see how I, I, I develop, modified my frame so that I can, oh, yeah. yep. I, I yeah, can yeah. have the sweet peas growing on both sides. Yep. At the same time, the way I netted it, I, I can protect my strawberries as well. Yeah, yeah. So I, I can't. I, I really can't wait for. I really can't wait for for the snow piece to go over the arch. Yeah, yeah. And it'll be you know, and and the arch leading to the the, the back the back paddock. Oh yeah. See, look look yeah, how beautiful. Yeah. So, yeah. The arch yeah. over there. Yeah. You yeah. can imagine that covered in. Yeah, and also I have this of and and I I didn't want to grow strawberries here, but <laughs> but I thought to myself, <laughs> uh, <coughs> look. I have strawberries. Oh, look at them. They're looking beautiful. Be fantastic for my grandchildren. Yeah, when they come. absolutely. Absolutely. So, no, strawberries are great. Yes. Beautiful. So so this is this is the the, the, the three arches that I've I've, I've started last year, mm -hmm. you know, and and, and uh, I, I I think it just breaks the whole. Yeah. Um, this is this is called wamba, yep. which is Chinese cabbage. Yep. It's it's the best Asian green you can ever grow. Okay. Yeah. It's 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 look at this look at the size of this head. It's beautiful. And it's and, and then no 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 and it's the first time that I've grown there are no slugs, no No, that's no, what I was gonna say, there's no slugs. No yeah. slugs, no yeah. but cabbage moth. Yeah. No nothing, no aphids or yeah. anything. Yeah. 
And this vegetable, back in Asia, my mum used to hang in the kitchen upside down. Oh. And it lasts a month or more. Oh, wow. Really fresh like that? Yes, yes. Wow. And oh, the, the, you can keep it in the fridge and it lasts forever. Wow. And it's that's beautiful for, 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 you know, stir fries or anything. Yeah. And, and yeah, that's, that's um, cool. Bativia lettuce. Yeah. And it's beautiful. It just keeps, you know, the more you harvest, the more they grow. Fantastic. It looks like a sort of butter lettuce mm -mm. kind of. Yes. Yeah, beautiful. So they, they're really ready to harvest. Yeah, they look, they, yeah, they're yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, they're yeah, just yeah. big, fat yeah. and juicy. And, <laughs> and, and these are lettuce. Yeah. I mean, this is not lettuce. <laughs> these, these are uh, carrots. Yeah. And, and they're weeds. Oh, everyone gets weeds. Well, um, <laughs> um, I planted, I planted this seed by seed at a time. Oh, wow. Individual, each, wow. each single seed I planted them. Oh, wow. I learned it from a friend and, 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 and she said, plant one seed at a time so that you don't have to, uh, what thin. you call, thin them yeah. because as you thin them, you damage the other, the other root system too. Yeah. So, and I said, what about the empty spots where the carrots doesn't germinate? Yeah. He said, then you keep, in 10 days when they don't germinate, you plant more between the in the gaps yeah. so it's a form of stagger planting yeah yeah, yeah so so you can it. see some are different sizes it's hard to tell now but they just look at it how lush it is oh it's very lush it's beautiful <laughs> yes and um those are broccoli broccoli they're all, enormous all, all all homegrown from seeds wow they're huge yes it's hard to see on the film just how big they are but they're enormous yes yeah. and um and this is these are cauliflowers. Wow, they're also enormous. Are they? I mean, I'm, I, I actually don't grow a lot of brassicas. I mean, like, it's yeah, not big, something that because the because big. they take so much space, and, and I've, I've decided not to. I, I don't plant a lot of them, but this year I decided. Look, I planted a lot of tomatoes last year, yeah. so this year I give brassicas Brassic, a go, yeah, and yeah. I staggered them too. But yeah. they seem to be all growing so quickly and yeah. big. Yeah, and and they're and enormous. look look at the cabbage there. They're huge. <laughs> they're insane. They're so big. Um, you want to look from that side. That's the size of the leaves next to Yeah, yeah there's, there's a cabbage, there's a cauliflower here, look. Cauliflower growing in there already. Oh, look at that. That looks beautiful. Nice little head mm. in there. That's very yeah. early in the season. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, see that, look at these cabbages. <laughs> They're enormous. Are they big? I mean, I don't really know. The leaves are enormous. Is it? Yeah. I, I don't get them to grow to this size because the slugs eat them. Oh, is it? Yeah. So and see, there's no... I mean, touch wood, I better not say that yeah. because, you know. <laughs> so they're cabbages and, and spring onion. First time I stagger spring onions. Yeah. Yep. And I plant them five or six or seven at a time. Okay. Uh, bunch them together. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. And iceberg lettuce. Yep. Look at them. Beautiful. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. What do you do? You remember? Also hard you, to grow without the snails and slugs. Yeah, you and remember during the COVID period, they were what eleven or twelve dollars oh, each. Yes. Yeah. Um, now these are these are coloured cauliflower. Some of them are coloured cauliflowers. Oh, okay. Yep. Purple ones. Um, yeah, purple ones there. Yep. I, I think not all of them are purple. There's some of them are purple, and um, and th there's there's cabbages too. Coloured cabbages over there. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. So, so once again, no slugs in it. No, no, not a slug. And slugs are your main But problem. this is an chi another Chinese cabbage that I stagger. Yep. But I think they're eaten by um, earwigs. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but I think this is, I, I, it's not the same variety. The other one is uh, Matilda F1, which is really big, which yep. I, I planted last year and I was thrilled with it. Yeah, yeah. But I thought I'd try another one, but I think they're not as big. Okay. They're forming heads, but they're different. Now, I also only plant four, oh, four but two. Yep. Except that one, there was a little one that I put in the middle, but I, I, <laughs> I might pull it out because, okay. it is, because it's taking, it, it will eventually take too much space. Okay. I yep. used to plant five, uh, you know, as, as, a, as a dice, you yep. know, yep. but I think four, four is a better option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's interesting with spacing. Yes. Um, and you've got, you know, with limited space in the yes. cubes, you've got yes. to use it wisely. Yes. Yeah. So sweet peas, would they keep? You would know. Would they keep growing? I think they they they're they very slow in it. Yeah, yeah. No, they'll get they'll get going. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, they um tend to look after themselves. Yeah. Mostly. 
So this is the greenhouse. Fantastic. White stem, white stem bok choy. Beautiful. And uh, and my cherry tomatoes. I don't know whether they were ripe. Would they ripe? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. A lot of people say cherry tomatoes are ripe or ripe over winter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I've I've already I've already got fruit I've already got fruits here. Oh, so you have. When did you plant these? Um, not long ago, maybe a month. A month ago. Yeah. yeah right. And 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 they were from the food cubes that were I planted three years ago. Right. Self germination. Self germination. Yeah. Okay. And and oh. and and micro tomatoes. Oh, that's your micro ones. Well, these are these are the ones in the greenhouse. And you got some inside as well. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wow, they're doing super well. Yeah. Yeah. So, so for very late autumn, you're getting tomatoes, which is pretty. Yes, good. and and lemongrass. Oh, they are just beautiful, luscious. Huge. Look at that. Huge. Oh, beautiful. Um. I've been trying to grow it for 50 years. I could never succeed growing really? them. Yeah, but look at them. I mean, the greenhouses just yeah, flourish. Yeah, yeah. Greenhouses are amazing. Yeah. So, Batavia lettuce, yep. also self germinating from last year. Oh, okay. Yeah, wow. so I planted them. Nice. Beautiful. So, can you tell us a bit about the greenhouse? How well, you set it well, up? I, well, I've. You haven't I, had it that long, have you? No, I haven't. Maybe. Two, well, two and a half, two and a half years. Yeah. yeah. I wanted, because you can see I'm, 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 I'm facing the valley, south, the southwest wind. Yep. Uh, if you if you show, yep. out is out here is is the valley. We get the very strong southwest wind. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. so I wanted as a greenhouse that is uh, super strong. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I I searched the the the, the, the internet and I yeah. found out that uh, all the different types of greenhouse on on the net. I wanted something that can withstand strong wind. Yeah. And winter gardens advertise that their their, their greenhouse can take, uh, I think, hundred and twenty kilometer wind. For wow. continuous three up to three hours continuously and up to 150 kilometers for an hour i think that's what they said wow. uh, and and why they are very strong is that if you if you look at it mm -hmm. the strength comes in the rubber seals right all the polycarbonates has got a rubber seal mm -hmm. and it gives it a super strength yep. you, you you won't get the the, the 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 polycarbonate to blow out okay and that's one of the Real it's advantage break, they have, so and then yeah. you can see with the greenhouse. One of the advantages is that they don't have brackets internally. No. You, you look at it, yeah, yeah. So that it allows you freedom to to have shelves, yeah, and uh, un, you know unlimited shelves. Yeah. Uh, uh, so space. yeah, yep. and 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 look at the strength of it. I I'll hold it and I'll show you. Yep. I can't move it. Oh, wow. I shake it. I wow. can I cannot move it. It's 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 it it's it's super strong. Yeah. So we we did have have um, last September I think we did have 140 to 150 kilometer yeah. wind, yeah. and this thing withstood the wind. Wow. Yeah. So, like other so, greenhouses end up. Oh, not everybody, but look, I I guess most of them are made pretty strong. I mean, yeah. Yeah. it depends how you fit it, and and you know. So, yeah. but I I particularly wanted a strong one so that you know, yeah. if it's not fitted properly. Doesn't matter what greenhouse you buy, no, it, it that's will right. it will lift from from yeah. the base. So, so is it attached to? The, I can see. You yes, you can see. I base, I attach it and I I brace it with steel. St I made my own steel brackets to yeah. to brace it, even though, yeah. um, so that they won't lift off the ground. Yep. And I also um, brace it from the inside. If you show, I brace it from the inside too. So, yep. so they won't. They definitely won't lift off the ground. Yeah, yeah. So they yeah. they they are rock Amazing. solid. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But so the, and and I got auto auto window openers. Okay, yeah. Uh, it is it, the the and without the need of batteries or whatever. A lot yeah. of people don't realize that, and I, neither do I until I got them. Yeah. They are filled with bees wax. Oh. And when it gets hot, about twenty degrees, the window automatically opens. Oh. And when it cools under twenty degrees, it closes, shuts itself. Oh, that's clever. So, so, so it's auto opening. Wow. And and when you, the other thing I, 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 is important when you buy a greenhouse is that you have to have flow through ventilation. Yeah. Absolutely important. Yeah. If you don't have flow full through ventilation, you get uh, powdery mildew. Yeah. See, I've I've got Louvre windows. Oh wow. So. Yeah. So you get the flow through ventilation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that's 
that's um, basically. Yeah. And I, 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 I've been very lazy. This, these are the poles I, I put in for my tomato planting. Yeah. And so I'm going to plant tomatoes again next year. So I've decided I'm not going to pull it out because it took me a while to tie all this. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And I use like the commercial method. I use string lines and everything to, yeah. to, to, uh, uh, oh, so you you um tie them up on the yeah yeah, lines. yeah 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 string line. I I I do two things. I use the poles yep. and the string line. So yep. that yep. way I, I get nice because the year before I I, I used strings. I used a, a jute string and and, oh, yeah. and it rotted on me yeah. and all the tomatoes collapsed on oh, me. So no. look, everything is an experiment. Yeah, I, I I'm 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 don't claim to be an expert. Yeah. You know, at all. Because you've been gardening for three years. Well, veggie, gar veggie gardening about three years. Yeah. And, and I've learned a lot from the vegetable garden group. Yeah, it's great. Uh, it's very, yeah. my, my vegetable garden group has been fantastic yeah. For, yeah. For, for me anyway. Yeah, no, it's a really good yeah, group. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I'm totally, I remember the first day when I planted vegetables. Yeah. I got my friend to come out and say, how do I plant this pundit of seed, seed yeah. Yeah. I didn't know what to do. I got a pundit of a spring onion. I thought to myself, how am I going to plant this? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Um, yeah. So and 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 I test the limit on everything. Yeah. Uh, I I plan everything closer together yep. to get the maxi maximize the growth. Yep. But I found that too many is is sometimes not good. Yep. Less is more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the good old yep. saying. So yep. I've I've I mean like the one bug I have planted. I think up to nine per cube. Oh wow. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and huge. and they were really small. Yeah. <laughs> but now yeah. I plant only four. Yeah. Yeah, I can see the, the value in yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, so definitely. So there you go. Yeah, and um, are you happy to share why you started growing veggies? Oh well, I've re I've retired in two thousand and seventeen. Yeah. And um, I just needed to do you know you know uh, uh, have some hobbies. Yeah. I take a lot of photos and yeah. um, and uh, I thought to supplement it, uh, vegetable gar gardening is a good idea because I always wanted to grow vegetables. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I come from a background where I used to grow a lot of orchids, oh. so so you know there's a bit of connection there. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, so it was good, and and because I'm carer for my wife, yeah. uh, I'm happy to stay at home. You know, it's it sort of it, it's very therapeutic for the mind and yeah. soul. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's that's yeah. one one very important aspect of gardening. I agree. Uh, yeah. I wake up every morning. I I just every morning at sunrise I wake up. And I'm a, I come out to talk to the plants, so yeah. so to speak. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's why they grow so well. Yes, because yeah, <laughs> I know you care. Yeah. yeah, but I don't don't tell them that I eat them though. No, <laughs> you must never tell them that. No, <laughs> no they might stop. Then. <laughs> they might say really Yeah, but look, it's it's I love it. I love yeah. it. And 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 I don't know whether you notice, the plant seems to grow at night. Yeah, they do. They, you come out the next yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So from what I gather is that the 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 chlorophyll and the sunlight is yeah. is getting you know absorbed during the day and at night they use the energy to then grow. Yeah. Because I noticed yeah. the spurt in growth seems to come overnight. Yeah, yeah. I I would agree. I, you yeah, come yeah. out the next day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would yeah. definitely agree. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's why I love it, and 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 I and I love sharing what I do. Uh, uh, that's why I post a lot in 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 my vegetable garden group because yeah. I learn a lot from people and yeah. and I like to share what I've learned. Yeah, oh, uh, I think everyone's been impressed with your tomatoes. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen a lot of different <coughs> varieties and yeah, yeah, yeah And yeah. I would never have known about the food cubes and this sort of setup. Yeah, yeah. Exactly Look, neither did, did I. I mean, I I how I started with food cubes was, um, I cleared an area and I planted um, uh, uh, vegetables on the ground. Oh, yeah. um, as you can see, I'm, my back fence back onto a farm. Yeah. And uh, one morning I came out, um, I saw a lot of vegetables were, were, were gone. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit oh. ate a fair bit of it. Oh, no. So one day I visited my daughter in, 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 and she was living in Torquay then. I said, look, Sarah, Sarah I said, I, I think I'm going to build raised beds. Yeah. And she said, why don't you buy wicking cubes? Yeah. I said, what are you talking about? I don't even know what, what's what's wicking and what's cubes, you know, uh, wicking food cubes. And and then she 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 then showed me on the internet and what, what uh, biofilter food cubes, used to be called biofilter food cubes, but now they changed it to just food cubes. Oh, okay. And he showed me an image of what they are and he said, my gardener in, G in Geelong uh, uh, sets, sets up a lot of food cubes. I said, I'll ring him and see whether 
you, you know, you can talk to him. And that's how the connection started. He, he, he then gave me advice how, how to uh, plant vegetables and how to where to buy food cubes and and oh. that's how i got started oh, I, wow. I, I i started with six now i got 21.5 yeah yeah <laughs> because it's it's addictive it's really addictive yeah, yeah. but oh i can see the harvest you're getting mm -mm -mm. and place. really seriously you don't have to do much yeah and people say you you do a lot of work i once i plant i really don't do much the cubes look after them the, it, absolutely yeah. absolutely so do you have fertilizer um well because be, be, because 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 we we, 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 we we use potting mix, yep. um, BioGrow potting mix, oh, they have slow-release right. slow, slow release fertilizer and they got, you know, coir and all sorts of things yep. for, for, for the improvement of the wicking, to encourage wicking system. Uh -huh. And so at the end of each season, I top it up with, with, yeah. with this is marketing. Oh, yeah, the Osmocote, yeah. Osmo Organics and, and it's got, you know, uh, Osmocote and it's got, I think, Palette ties, uh, yeah. chicken oh, menu, yeah, and whatever, yeah, yeah. and it's got blood and bone in it too. So it's it's yeah. it's it's it's, 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 it's all around, yeah. yeah. And I add a bit of extra blo blood and bone onto it, and and yep. that's all I do. Now, okay. the other trick is, like, like everything we do, or like I, as as far as concerned, yeah. um, you, you you want everything to grow faster. The first year, yeah. I put too much fertilizer. Yeah. My yeah. my vegetables grew beautifully, yeah. but the side effect was I had about twenty million aphids. Oh yeah, they because there were too yeah. much nitrogen. Nitrogen rich. So yeah. Yeah. like everything that you we do, we experiment. I, I always test yeah. the limit. I yeah. put too much. Yeah. Now I learn that you too much is not good. Not helpful. So yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a very good exp uh, experience that I've learned. Yeah. Now I don't put a lot. I yeah. put it lightly. Mm -hmm. You can always add liquid fertilizer. And, and, and if they don't grow as well, and, and same old thing, less is more. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and yeah. so you have to do that. Yeah. I've learned that. You do. Uh, you do. Because I didn't listen. Mind you, lots of people have told me that. Yeah. But you, 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 when they tell you, you just put it aside. Yeah. Now, I can do better. I, I'll, I'll feed them more. But yeah. it doesn't work. No. Those wise, vegetal, experienced gardeners, yeah. they seem to be always right. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But by the same token, you know, different things can work for yeah, different yeah, people. Yeah, so yeah, it's exactly. great to accept. And, and, and for that matter, you have helped me a lot too. That's how I Thanks. sort of started yeah. to know you. And, yeah, and that's the, right. There's a yeah. few people in the garden group, you know, because yeah. I, I was really very green. I, got, I, I had ex, absolutely no idea yeah, yeah. about growing vegetables. Yeah, but you learned really quickly. And what I've been impressed with is how quickly you've um, you've tried things yes, and experimented. Yes. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, used and, and done it your way. Mm -mm -mm. I I mean the fact that I'm 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 good. I mean being retired is is one positive yeah. aspect of it all. And and I'm I, I'm very uh, I'm computer literate, so I do a lot of research. I, I I mean if you tell me something, I I don't accept it as gospel. Yeah. I do the research, and I might ask two or three people, and then I yeah. I combine the the, the 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 good points, and then I yeah. I, I just apply it. Yeah. I mean that doesn't mean I'm I'm right or or your work, but. You know, but it works for yeah, you. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, and the thing is, what I like about people in the group are that I learn much quicker. As, as we get older, I don't have the time. Yeah. I can't afford to spend five years experimenting. Yeah. And then by the time I get it right, yeah. I'm just about too old to grow vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> so so what I'm doing now and, and with the help of people, I'm thrilled to, to bits with, with all the help I get, got, you know, from... It's a from, very generous Yeah, space. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it is. Yes. How are you using technology? Oh, yes, I do. Uh, I have, um, I do use technology. Yep. For instance, in this greenhouse, for instance, mm -hmm. I've got my greenhouse temperature 20.6, mm -hmm. outdoor temperature 15.2. Uh, mm -hmm. Oopsie, back. And food houses is when I built those little, you know, I, I call it food houses with the, with, the, with the food cubes. I put plastic around them. I call them food houses. Oh, yeah. So, I got temperature for food house. I got, I've, I've got temperature for food house, temperature for outdoor, and temperature for greenhouse. And it gives you a graph. Well, it gives me a graph. So, yeah. so for instance, the greenhouse, I can click on it, and it shows me the graph of the temperature, yeah. all all day and night. Yeah, now, yeah. the other important aspect is that when the temperature of the greenhouse reaches thirty degrees, yeah. I get a message on my phone: greenhouse has reached thirty degrees, mm -hmm. so that I can, you know. 
do do uh, water the yeah. greenhouse or or do different things to to keep it cool. Yeah. And when the temperature goes below four degrees, I get a message too. Yeah. But I haven't bothered put heating this place as I said to you yeah. before. Yeah. I don't want to put electrical power in in, in a damp area. So. Yeah. Um, and, and, and to do that, I need to have a cable, extension cable, and I don't like that. So yeah. I'd rather let them yeah. freeze a bit. So yeah. you just don't plant things that, that, can't grow in, that, that cannot grow in really cold weather. Yeah. Or, you know, so, so, and, and, and the other thing is, if someone walks into a greenhouse, all my backyard lights will turn on. Oh. My security cameras come on oh, and, wow. and will start videoing you. Oh, wow. and, um, and, um, and so no one's stealing your garbage. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> because because my security will tell them anyone yeah. that comes in who will, will active and it's yeah. P, P, uh, it's AI AI um, recognition it recognized people. Oh wow! Yes. Gosh. So um, so that that's that's good. That's that's good. I mean, yeah. it turns a light on too. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. that that's sort of uh, I do yeah. with technology. So yeah. So you've just got probes in here, I gather, and no, no. I just got um. It's a little sensor that I use. This is just a an Apple thing, oh, wow. uh, a Hue Philips Hue, mm -hmm. and this is the uh, sensor that sends when people come in. It is sends motion, oh. and it's got a temperature control. Oh, okay. That's how I get my temperature reading in right. here. Right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. That's that's been a whirlwind tour with just you giving us so much information. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah, Thank you. But it's a pleasure. My yeah, pleasure. No, yeah. it's, a, it's it's actually really great to come and actually mm -mm, see mm -mm. it. Yeah. And so you, as you can out. see, I don't, I don't do, I don't do anything special. Yeah. I mean, oh, I, I mean, I this is pretty different yeah. to what a lot of I, 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 yeah. I think that I mean, yeah, I mean, the initial out expense is, is 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 higher than normal. Yeah. But you soon recoup it. I mean, Brendan from Food Cubes, I think his average, I think at least twenty kilos per cube. Wow. So so you you of of food. So I guess it depends what you grow too. Yeah. Uh, and 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 you soon recover. What 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 you invest in a, yeah. a a few years, but it's not just that. I mean, uh, a lot of a lot of us when we grow vegetables tend to be the older generation. Yeah. I mean, I hope that, that that's correct. Yeah. And 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 most of us have houses that are older too. Yeah. And and you, you you won't be able to grow in 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 your garden because you got roots of the trees. That's true. Yeah. And 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 so it's very hard to grow vegetables yeah. in ground. Yeah. So yeah. that's why the food cubes are are. are, are such a brilliant idea yeah. idea it's above yeah. ground that the, the, the soil is warmer yeah um so um so i you i always use a thermometer oh a soil th for soil thermometer soil to, to to see especially with tomatoes when yeah. i plant my tomatoes yeah so you you put them in there and you know the soil temperature 60 degrees in it yeah that's when you around that temperature but anyway <laughs> That's what I've learned, but <laughs> but I tested the limit, so I plant them earlier yeah, anyway. Yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, so yeah. that that's that's um, yeah. So so that that's the advantage of of food cubes. You 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 yeah. you, you you can plant things earlier mm -hmm. and you can plant things longer. Mm -hmm. So your season get extended. Yeah. And as you know, today yeah. in my vegetable group, someone say mm -hmm. I seem to be earlier than everyone else. Yeah. But but that's because I, I use oh and the netting system I use yeah. it creates its own microclimate as yeah. well. Yeah. So so that yeah. that's that and thanks to you too. You you oh. was the one that gave me the tip with, with, with the uh, Yeah with the shade, with shade cloth. Yeah the tongue, uh, Yeah yeah. It's like my bok choy. I, I yeah. I've got you know I do have a green cover on it yeah. in, in summer so that yeah. I can grow them in summer as well. Yeah 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 so it's I I find that the shade cloth is great for both seasons. And yes keeps a much more stable yes. microclimate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Even in winter, it gives yeah, it... Yeah, yeah, it yeah. does, yeah. It, 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 mm -hmm. I think it stops the wind moving. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. Moving air. I was just going to see whether the cherries... Actually, there are more tomatoes down there, bigger ones down here. See, look. See the tomatoes? Yeah. See? To, uh, what, oh, yeah, yeah. L, whatever, to... To, to, to put, pollinate, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so do you find that they... Will pollinate without that, or do you need? Oh, to I, I, look! To after a Just while, I stop doing it. So, yeah, so, so yeah. they do, they do. They do because, yeah. because. Oh yeah, the other thing I do use is, I do have a a, a fly screen. See, the other thing, what one of the advantages advantages that I found with this uh, greenhouse is, yeah. during the summer, I I change to the fly screen door, so I get flow through air. Yeah. So, so yeah. that that. that yeah, I got flow through ventilation. Yeah, no, that's that's a yeah, great yeah. that's a great option. It's you do need that in summer. Yeah, yeah, and and I used to use a netting system. You can see I use I had a net here, 
Yeah, I used to drop down and put it on the outside. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. being next to a farm, I just frightened that snakes would come through. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so this way, with, with a fly screen dog, yeah. you know the snakes won't come to, through. That's so, a good, it's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Yeah, now that's brilliant. It's just a really good way to make better use of a smaller yeah, space, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. I mean, yeah. um, someone said, "Oh, you, you, can you put any more?" I said, "I said, oh, I reckon I can put another 50, 50 in here." <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. I'm, I've got a big enough backyard to, yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm so pleased that my my wife allowed me to chop some of the trees, cut some of the trees <laughs> down. Uh, well, she's getting the veggies. Yes, yes. Oh, well, I mean, like, she, she liked the, I mean, they've been here for a while, so. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I, I said, look, I can't eat the trees. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you need some trees, but you, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, eat. No, yeah, not yeah. these ones. Yeah, no, I was mm. going to say, you don't water in summer, of course. Was, no, I don't. I mean, that. like, in winter, I don't water at all. Mm. I don't mm. water at all. I mean, I guess you don't water at all in winter, too. No, no, yeah. we don't water um, in winter. No, each time it rains, it just feels. Just and yeah. if you got 100, I mean, that's what they found out in, in, in New South Wales and Queensland. Mm. If you get hundred of hundred inches of rain mm -hmm. a day, mm -hmm. they won't get soggy. Wow! Because okay. you got the outflow valve. Yeah. The, yeah. the, the water level goes where, where, wherever the sock, the hole is. Mm. It, the valve it will overflow. So so. So you the, never the, get too much. You never get too much. Yeah. You yeah. never get too wet. Yeah. So yeah. that's why it's so good. Yeah. No, that's, that's why it's system. so good. Really low maintenance. Really easy. Oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, so one of those things once you've got it in. Yes, yeah. and that's exactly what I do. Yeah. I mean, the worst part is at, at the end of each season, I got to clean up 21, yeah. you know, 21 cubes. Yeah. That's the sort of thing that's very really daunting, but it's no yeah. different from you clearing up. Uh, no, uh, no, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, and it's, it's still, it's, it's, it's still bone, easier. Yeah. It's still easier doing it this way than, yeah. than, than trying to clean a, a yeah. normal bed. Yeah, yeah, oh, Because you got, you got to pull out weeds too in a normal bed. That's so right. I don't get much yeah. weeds. Yeah. And right. I, I get a few weeds now because I, I, I left it too long sitting by itself and yeah. I'm too lazy to pull out the... <laughs> When the cubes were empty, I was too lazy to pull out some of the weeds. Yeah. Uh, but by and large, you know, they're, they're quite yeah. quite easy to maintain. It's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. fantastic invention by two guys. I mean, like, you, you, it's just That's amazing Australian that. Invention. Yeah, 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 exactly. Mm. I mean, wicking system was in, invented by a professor in uh, Queensland, too. So, oh, so really? yeah, he was the one that worked out the wicking system. Wow. So, both are Australian uh, based. Wow, that's pretty cool. I didn't yeah. know Before that. Yes. I, you know, like, I couldn't believe it when I was told about it. I need to do a bit of research yes, to, to see whether yes. uh, it's a worthwhile investment. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Because mm -hmm. they are, how much are they each? About uh, four, four, fifty, four, sixty, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's something but, that yeah, you, yeah. you want to put research into and yeah. you know use mm -hmm. it well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is brilliant. That's a great right. setup. Good. Thank you so much. I really appreciate yeah, my it. My pleasure. My pleasure. And it's just lovely to meet you in person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of messaging. <laughs>so people often ask how how does the tomato gets uh, fertilized yep. so i tell them i use what i call a, a, a veggie bee express <laughs> garden pollinator see oh, i okay. turn it on see if so that vibrates it like yeah. a, a bee would yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and and it's basically you can use a toothbrush too yeah yeah electric toothbrush so yeah. if i if i i see whether i can show you if i press this if i touch it you you can see po the pollen coming out if you yep. see if I touch it, see? Oh, yeah, yep, yeah. See, you see the yeah. flap pollen coming out? Yeah, I did, yeah. So it actually self pollinate. Yeah, yeah see, right. see, that's not so much because yeah. maybe that's too mature. Yeah, it see. even sounds like a bee. Are you, um, have you grown tomatoes indoors over winter before? Or no, this, no, this no. Is an no, I haven't. I haven't. But the fact is that I've got them, I've got them in fruit. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And yeah. the grow light is, um, that's obviously a high um, output grow yes. light. Yeah. Yes, yeah. It's the full, apparently it's full spectrum, so yeah. so they do supposed to work pretty well. So yeah. there you go. Brilliant. Thank you. That's an interesting setup. I have three of them. <laughs> There's another one I put here. Yeah. And another one I put here. Okay. So that's <laughs> what starting your that, season. That, that's, that's when I have my tomorrow season. Yeah. 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 So, 
uh, for vegetable seedlings, yeah. it's fantastic, even, even in the summer season, because I give it 15 hours of sunlight. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I, can, I can start planting tomato seedlings on the 21st, 22nd day. Yeah, wow. Yeah. You know, yeah. same with vegetables. So do you get them going in here and then put them out in the yes, food Yes, yeah, yes, Yeah, yeah. You had tomatoes very early last season. Yes, and, I, and I'm very unconventional. <laughs> I don't even uh, acclimatize them. No, I just I'm very, out. very <laughs> naughty, very naughty, especially from this. So, I mean, they do struggle a bit. They yeah. do acclimatize in the cubes. Yeah. But, you know. Oh, oh, look, it, what are you going to do? I mean, <laughs> the, the cubes are pretty protected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. Oh, that's, that's a great setup. We'll, we'll come back and, yeah. if that's all right, and, yeah. and see your, um, yeah. you know, setup in, yeah. for summer. Yep. That'd all right. Be brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, friends, well, I hope you enjoyed that um, tour of somebody else's setup. Perry's come a long way in three years. Um, when he first joined the local gardening group, he had no experience of gardening. So it's quite an inspiring thing for new gardeners, people coming to growing food and wanting to grow food for yourselves. It's doable. Um, the system he uses is really, really uh, tailored for new gardeners it's really great for people who don't have gardening experience and really want to get some food growing quite quickly um, also for older people and people in um, with limited outdoor space there's lots of ways you can use limited outdoor space but wicking beds are certainly one of them to get high production in a smaller space and as you saw there Perry is also um, coming up with unique ways to use those those setups that he has which is great bit of inventiveness now the downside of that particular setup is the cost it does require a fair bit of financial outlay in the beginning uh, that's uh, maybe not practical for some people it wouldn't be for me um, but there are ways of creating if you're interested in wicking beds and semi-hydro systems which is kind of what that is is semi-hydroponic um, it's like with indoor plants you can grow them semi-hydroponically by creating a, a, a system with a wicking layer um, down below and there's lots of ways you can do that there are self-watering pots um, and I actually grow have started growing some of my anthuriums particularly in jars in no drainage jars which is exactly the same principle and I may even show you that at some point soon but I have did get some ideas which is the whole point of going and looking at other people's setups I just love looking at what other people do and hearing why they do it and hearing about their experiments so again you know if you've got local groups to you with people who are doing interesting things definitely go and check it out um, we can all learn something from other people from each other um, and I, I got a few ideas from that from looking at the wicking beds and Perry talking about how it saves him watering um, and also from my current experiments with no drainage growing inside. So I will be doing some little experiments with something that um, doesn't require that setup, but you know, will require a lot of my time to invest in thinking about how I could set that up. So watch this space. It's definitely something I want to try out uh, for next summer. Um, but beyond that, if you are interested in wicking beds and that the cost of that setup is not for you, then there are certainly ways of making your own wicking beds. And if you Google that, there are definitely lots of ways of doing that. Old IBC tanks, which are quite available, certainly where I am in Australia, they're those um, 1,000 litre water tanks or uh, they're square, they're white square tanks that all sorts of liquids get transported in. You can cut those in half and you can make wicking beds out of those quite affordably. You can often get those free or very cheap. 
All right, I'm going to leave you there and I'm going to say hooroo. Thank you all so much for watching. I can't tell you how much it means to me. It really does. It is amazing how many people are supporting me. And if you can please subscribe if you haven't, that would be wonderful. And then you get to see when I post new videos. I usually try not to leave it longer than 10 days to two weeks between videos. Um, so you can look forward to that. So if you don't mind subscribing and if you can give this video a like and make a comment because not only does that help the YouTube algorithm know that my videos are of interest to people and, and put them in front of more people, but it also means that I can have a chat with you and I do always answer um, comments. I just might take a little while to get back to you because I have an awful lot on my plate, um, but I always do get back to people. All right, friends, I'm going to go and finish editing this and I will see you all soon. So it's Huru from me, Huru, and it's Huru from... Be the Huru. Thank <laughs> you.